Hey YouTube, it's your favorite 98 percenter, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Altel Moxidos DS708 and use it to get rid of a P0300 code on a 2002 2500, easy for me to say, HD Chevy. Yes, the same one that I've been working on with ball joints and everything else. But today is the first time I'm actually going to do a video with using this Altel. I don't know how it'll go. I had a misfire on cylinders 1 and 6. And by watching the Car Doctor's channel, I found out that I guess this is common with these um, Chevys. If you want to find out which ones, um, please go to the Car Doctor's channel and uh, on YouTube and, and look it up. He explains it very well there. All I'm going to do is use my... DS708 Altel Moxidos to clear the code. Now I already did clear it so we won't see the misfire but I'm gonna go through the steps again with it to actually show what I did to clear the code. Um, and yes it did. It fixed it. It is no longer it no longer has the code. It has another code which is for the fuel level sensor which may be another video at another time but for right now we're gonna hook up the old Altel hold on let me look I'll show you we're gonna hook up the Altel Moxidos to the Chevy and show you how to get rid of the code um, with saying that I just wanted to say I didn't know if this actually did it but uh, yes this scanner will do it so it's a good thing. Alrighty, let's get to it. Okay, as I said, I've never actually done this or tried to do a video with, with uh, this and holding this. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, first off, we'll turn it on. Let her fire on up. I guess you can see that. I'll try and do it so you can see it. As I said, uh, hey, uh, Eric O, ah, look at this. Got a stylus with mine. Didn't have to buy an extra one. Hee 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 hee. So let's now let this boot up and um, takes a little while, not too bad. Too bad it's powered by Windows. I want one of the new ones like Eric O's with the, um, that, has, that has Android. Okay, I'm not sure how you're going to be able to see this. Uh, let, me, let me try and zoom in a little bit. All right, so we'll go to GM. We'll turn the key on, that'll help. Now you get the ding, 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 ding. Uh, let's go to automatic diagnostics. Two thousand and two Chevy. Yes, it is. Is this correct? Yes. So let's go to control unit, powertrain control module, and I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's special functions, Oop, sorry about that, special functions, and right there it is, crankshaft position variation learn. Now I'll go through the steps with this, I don't think it'll hurt in any. So accelerate to wide open throttle, release throttle when fuel cutoff occurs. Um, this is the light duty truck with the um, V8, so 4,000 RPM we don't want to exceed. Okay. Engine should not accelerate beyond calibrated RPM value. Release throttle immediately. If value is exceeded, refer to service manual for help. Okay. So, okay. Block drive wheel, set parking brake, do not apply brake, do not apply brake pedal. Cycle ignition from off to on. Okay. Off on. Uh, as far as set the parking brake, well, mm, that might be a little tough. Uh, apply and hold brake pedal, start an idle engine, turn AC off, vehicle must remain in park. Okay, park, so let's fire up. So we're running. Okay. Procedure in progress. Accelerate to wide open throttle, release when fuel cutoff occurs. Okay, here we go. There was our 4000 and it did. Learn status, learn this ignition. Press escape. 
So, there you have it. Um, I have another code in this also. I have the ABS code. And part of the reason I have the ABS code is because I put a new ABS sensor in it. And, well, that usually doesn't work too good when you put that in with the uh, on an old hub. But anyhow, a hub assembly. So, anyhow, that's the way it is. So there you have it, folks. The down and dirty of your crankshaft variation relearn with the with the Altel Moxie DOS DS708. Once again, thank you to the car doctor for giving this tip and getting this done with this. Yeah, I know I'm digging in the background, but anyhow, this is Mike, the disgruntled mechanic, your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, saying, just remember. If you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Till next time.